Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm going to be setting out on the first quest. Now, this is a quest that we can do solo, or it's a quest that we can do as a sort of like party. If you want to come and join me, I've already made the video on how you can go and do that. It probably was a trailer to this video. So anyway, I, what I've put together over here, behind these decals, behind this wall, is actually a storage vault, and I've labelled it treasure chest. So if you are working with me, and if you are in my faction and my guild, the 07 Brew Crew, just stick all your treasures, anything that you find inside of here, and it's like a collective treasure sort of vault thing. If, for whatever reason, you can't put it in these vaults, I have given everybody access to my refiners. So you could just put them in here, and then when I get back to my base, I can pick it up and I can chuck it into the giant vault. Okay, that's kind of what I'm thinking anyway, people. Oh, look, Ghost Light has entered. Oh, haha, <laughs> Ghost Light somewhere on the planet and putting down a base. Oh, that's pretty darn freaking epic. Oh, cool. There's something over that way. There seems to be a message beacon over there. You know what? I'm going to head towards there anyway, because, yeah, we've got a mission now, people. Our mission is to try and find a relic site and dig up some treasure. So I'm going to head this way, and uh, I'm going to see what that message orb is anyway. But on the way there, hopefully, we might come across either a plaque or a colossal archive, because either of those places should be able to point me to a relic site. Now, being that we've got to go there on foot, it's going to take me a month of frickin' Sundays to get to a relic site, even if we locate one using those two methods that I just mentioned. They really need to fix the hitbox on those bitey plants. Frickin' mental, aren't they? All right, anyway, we're heading over yonder hill. Hopefully I come across a plaque or a colossal archive or just stumble across a relic site. And it doesn't matter whether the relic site is underwater or on land. Because both of them give some kind of treasure. The ones underwater can sometimes give cursed objects, but they're still worth a lot of money. And basically what we're going to do is sort of compare whose is the most valuable in units anyway. To see who actually wins this little mini exercise. Now if you do want to come and join me and my crew and my faction, yeah, any treasures you find, just stick in those repositories. Either in the actual um, refiners or inside of the giant vault itself. Thank you very much, people. Right, so what I'm thinking is, as soon as I get to the top of this hill here, is I'm either going to get on my mount to go a little bit faster, or I'm just going to pop into camera mode quickly and just have a little butchers around with my eye peepers to see if I can spot a plaque or anything of interest. So this is the best way to get bird's eye view. Now, I'd imagine in Light No Fire, because you've got flying mounts, you wouldn't have to do this. You can just fly around on your flying mount and find the things that you want. But I'm not seeing much in my actual walking path. There is some damaged machinery there. We can go check that out, see if we get ourselves any sort of technology modules, because that's the only ones we're allowed to install are the ones that we actually find on the planet. Just having a little butcher's back at my base. That, oh, look, I've already gone past the technology module. That's a bit silly, isn't it? What's that down there on the ground? What's that yellow thing right there? That it looks like I've gone past. Is that just some sort of strange... Oh, it's a giant freaking sodium crystal. All right. OK, well, I'm not seeing any plaques. I'm not seeing anything massively interesting amongst the landscape. Good. OK. All right. Anyway, we'll head towards ja damaged machinery. I'll see you when I get to that damaged machinery on yonder hill, people. Holy fudge, people. I'm being thrown around all over the place on this thing. Here we go. Look at my cape. Yeah, I switched my hair back and forth. I switched my hair back and forth. Anyway, we've, we've arrived, Kate. At the damaged machinery. Let's go and have a look see if we got lucky, shall we, people? Let's uh, head on in. Chicken Yeah, I'll take that because, yeah, that, that turns into bringing ferrite dust, doesn't it? What are you going to give me that machine? I got some nanites. Okay, well, that's not so bad because I can trade that in for a map or something anyway. And I can see some more smoke over on Horizon, so there might be more damaged machinery over there. Oh, there's a creature over here we haven't scanned yet. Let's go and have a look at that. Hello, creature. What are you? What are you? Oh, look, it's one of these sort of, like, predatory dog creatures. You know what? I think that might be slightly faster than the creature I've got. Doctor's companion. He's feeling sad. Nudgy, nudgy. And ah, ha, ha. I don't think anyone's got one of these. And let's uh, ride that, then. Hooray and hurrah! We've got a new creature. And he is quite fast. Look at him go! 
that's a little bit more comfortable on the old buttocks, I must say. Yeah, I mean, my, my um, cape is still swinging all over the place, eh? But yeah, never mind. Cool. Anyway, we're heading over this way, and we'll see if we can spot anything on said way there that might lead us to a relic site. Okay, I've had some more damage to my sceneries, so I oh, don't really want the living slime, though. There we are. What's inside of that? More nanites. Okay. All right, not lucky. All right, let's uh, pop back into camera mode and I'll see if I can spot anything. I've been doing this a lot. I've not spotted anything yet. Okay, I'm at another damaged machinery. So I'm coming across quite a lot of these on my little trek across the landscape. Go on, be something cool. Oh, we've got a thermal protection module. Yes, don't mind if I do. Let's stick that there. Adjacency bonus. Brilliant, we've got our first protection module. Not that I really need, I don't really need it, but you know, it's something. At least it's something, people. All right, so we're heading this way still, and uh, it looks like we're going to have a long walk. I've got to walk all the way back to my base after this. Yeah, hopefully they're going to have some sort of fast travel way and means to get back to your base. In light, no fire, you know? Okay, I've had quite a lot of journey milestones popping up. Now, I have been locking on to Knowledge Stones, because I'm hoping that one of them, you know, might be at a relic site, uh, at a long chalk. When I haven't got nothing else to lock on to, that's what, lock what I've been locking on to. And then damaged machineries as well. So, I'm doing multiple things as I'm looking for um, you know, a relic site and trying to get those treasures, people. Cool, yeah, anyway, we've arrived, gated, and another damaged machinery. Let's have a quick look at this then. Get rid of that. What we got? Go on, be technology. No, it's nanites. Go on. Another journey milestone. Yes, learned eight words. Oh no, look at me learning words. Heck yes. And um, yep, another damaged piece of machinery over here. Now I have looked into camera mode like about six or seven times and I haven't come across anything interesting. Not even buildings, which is a bit weird. No outposts, no nothing. And I've been walking now for... A long time. It's not an abandoned system or something weird, is it? No, it can't be. No, it's um, it's all good. It is quite a large planet, but even still, I would have, I would have expected to come across more. You know, Hello Games did say that they would like to have things on every hill, every horizon that draws the player's eye. And they did add in the colossal archives that did exactly that. But I have not yet seen a colossal archive, a relic site, or even a plaque. I haven't even seen a monolith. I haven't seen any buildings, nothing. And of course, when you hit this scanner, when you're on foot, it doesn't really throw up buildings. It does when you're in your ship, but obviously we're not allowed to use our ships. So it's, it's quite a tricky ask to find this relic site. So yeah, maybe if you guys can jump in and help with the search, that might help somewhat. Trying to think of other ways that I might be able to do it. I was thinking about tunneling under the ground because then you're more likely to see the treasure chest markers for a relic site. But you still have to be like within like, I don't know, a thousand years at the very least. Yeah, that's not going to happen, is it? Anyway, I'm looking for like little red glowy dots. I'm, I'm getting low on oxygen. There's some red, or red glows over there. So at night, it's quite easy to spot your oxygen. And your hazard protection. I don't really need hazard protection on this planet because it's a lovely planet. But let's just grab some anyway, just in case. You never know. A storm might kick in. Lovely. We'll grab some of that. Might as well. It's there, isn't it? And then we'll go get our oxygen plant, which is just here as well. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so I'm still heading towards this marker over there. Apparently it's going to take me four hours to get there. It's probably going to take me twice that to get back to... Well, it will take me twice that to get back to my base. Oh, chums. Well, there seems to be some free star objects on this planet in the way of sack venom. Okay. All right. Well, what happens if I shoot that then? Oh, I need hazmat gauntlets to pick that up. Gauntlets? I'd say that they're sort of like the thing of yesteryear, aren't they? I think we'd be allowed hazmat gauntlets because they're gauntlets. Hmm. What does it take to make a gauntlet? Okay. Well, that's something to strive for, isn't it? You know, I don't think that's going to hurt anyone, me having hazmat gauntlets. But yeah, there you go. We've got those in st Well, got it in place. I still need to get the resources for them if I want them. That's if I want them, you know. There might be a challenge. 
at some point for the player to get the most freaking sack venom since it is on this planet and i've been walking for like what maybe 40 minutes now before i even come across it so it's rare on this planet but it's there so maybe that could be a future challenge maybe heck yeah get your hazmat gauntlets on and go find some sack venoms right i'm gonna zap that because that's gonna give me some oxygen as well just in case my life support gets a bit low Chickaboom, you know what? That's a long way to go to read a freaking comms ball message, isn't it? Four hours that way. I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Yeah, I think we need flying mounts before we can do any of these missions. So maybe that might be my next mission. The only thing is to get to the portal. That is also four hours away as a walk. That is a mission and a half. Yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's carry on looking around. Let's we'll see if we can just find it by chance. But I'm going to circle back to my base now, people. Oh, jumps! There's a pilot that's landed near me. I don't don't think they sell any treasure or anything. Where is he? Where is the actual pilot? Oh, here he is, around here. Hello, mate. Hello. Cool. Let's off to make a trade. Let's see what they've got. Oh, they've just got all of these. I don't know whether I'm allowed to buy them, but I haven't actually got enough anyway. But that would be a good way of getting tech. And it was on this planet. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can upload all my discoveries or something. Chicka pow. Oh, I've got 216 nanites now, my friend. You got anything for 216? I don't think they have. No, look, it's all 300 and something. There's one there for 763. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, at least we found something that I can spend nanites on as we're gallivanting around. We might come across those guys. And there you go. Look, there's a hollow terminus down there. I don't think a hollow terminus is going to point me to where I need to go to, though, is it? No. No, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We're a little bit scuppered, to be honest, people inside the viewerverse, aren't we? In finding a relic site, that is. I mean, I've been looking. Can't find one for Toffee. Yeah, okay. well, we've got a long way to go back to base. Another 16 minutes that way. Uh, let's just hope we come across something on my travels. Okay, there's another piece of damaged machinery. I went out of my way for this one slightly. Let's go and have a look in here then. Oh, yep, rusted metal. We'll have that. And uh, let's hit this up then. What have we got? Ah, no, nothing there. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, there's, there's two more damaged machineries in very close proximity. Not seeing any plaques. Not seeing any old relic sites. Uh, there's the uh, hollow, art, hollow terminus that you saw me at earlier. So I haven't gone too far from where we last reconvened, people. But I'm going to hit up those two machineries anyway. There's a knowledge stone here. Let's grab that. Let's just head on down here then. Where are those machineries? There's one. Yeah. Another milestone. Is that words again? Yes. Ten words. Golio. Hit this up. I just went past some oxygen there. Take away the living slime. Go and give me something cool. Something cool. It's nanites. But as we now know, if one of those travellers come and lands right by me, I could buy myself a really lovely module. What would I get? I'd probably get some kind of weapon of some kind. Just just you know, just in case Cynical comes at me with something evil. There we go. Pick that up. Lovely. Let's head on over here then. Oh, Fecium. Don't mind if I do. There we go. And what do we got this time? Ah. Oh, nanites. Okay. Right, where's my ship? It's all the way over there. Right, okay. we I'll reconvene if I come across anything interesting. Well, chums, I just hit up a damaged machinery, and I got given this. But, rather than install it, I'm thinking if I do see another one of those pirate vendors, I might be able to sell him it for a load of nanites. And if I can sell it for nanites, because I don't need radiation protection on this planet, jobs are good, you know? Hopefully I'll be able to buy a module that I do want, is what I'm thinking, people. So yeah, I need to save up some nanites when we come across another one of those piratey guys. Now, I have been picking up a load of salvaged data as well, because I should be able to throw those into that little refiner back at base and refine those into nanites. Die, pumpy plant! Ayah! You're done, mate, I guess. 
Huh, okay. Um, yeah, I still haven't come across any plaques or anything interesting. What's trying to attack me? Why is he angry at me? That's an oddity, isn't it? Well, I'm going to have to do battle with it. Freaking have it. Out of it. That'll teach you. Wow, he went miles, didn't he? Okay, cool. That's him done. Got himself some beef steaks. Can throw in the barbie later. Lovely jubbly. Got miles to go back to my base there. Hey, people. Another pirate just landed by me. Let's go and put my sort of... um idea to the test shall we oh what a lovely ship as well it's a barrel nose droid hello mate not that i can have his ship but there we go hello trader in the wilds offer to make a trade and i'm gonna sell um i want to sell you my module for loads of nanites mate no he won't let me sell it for nanites oh that sucks doesn't it dang it well i don't think i've got enough I've only got 350... Oh, I've got enough for one. A life support module. That could be quite nice. What I really want is a shield module. There's one there for 360... I need four more nanites! Four more nanites! Oh, my days. Ah, oh. Shite. Hold on. Come on. Come on, let's see if I can upload. Oh, I've got three! Oh, oh, I'm one nanite away! Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, come on. Upload. Upload. Yes! I've got three more nanites. I've got enough. I want a shield module, please. Thank you. But by a shield module, that should keep me uh, alive a little bit longer. That is for my exosuit, not for a starship, isn't it? Suspicious, sh I think it is. Let's go for this then, people. Let's put this in. Let's see how we get on. Boom! Yes! I have now got an upgraded shield. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant, eh? Right oh. So this wasn't a wasted journey after all. Let's get to the top of this this um hillock. I mean, there's there's another bit of machinery all the way over on that hillock over there. Oh, yeah, basically, all I'm doing is listening to hear if a ship lands by me. Oh, I need some cobalt so I can build my weapons rack when I get back to base. Let's get some cobalt. What did I scan? I thought I scanned the cobalt. Some dehydrogen, lovely, lovely. Any more cobalt to be had in here? Oh, mining beam is out. There we go, lovely, lovely cobalt. Cool, well I'm just going to get a bit more cobalt and I'll let you know if anything else interesting happens. Well, chums, right over in yonder distance is my base, where that flat plateau is. But on the way there, look, there's a, like a little spire here, some sort of aerial mast. Now, I know that when you hit it up, sometimes it locates something of interest. I don't think it locates relic sites, but that's where I'm heading to right now to see what it hits up. OK, chums, well, I've arrived, decoded. Let's see what this thing does, shall we? Zoom! What's it going to find? It's probably going to find an observatory or something. Well, whatever it finds, it's going to give me a new marker to head towards. A minor settlement. Nine hours away. This planet really doesn't have much on it, does it, to be fair? Okay, well, that's something I can head to on my next episode, people. I mean, I could use my creature, couldn't I, come to think of it. Let's, um, let's ride this guy. He's nice and tall. Yeah, right, please. And away we go. Come on, walk, dang you. Not that way. Freaking heck. I want to go back towards my base, please. This way. Run like the wind. There we go. And we're off, people. We're off. Oh, it looks like another base has just emerged over there on yonder hill. I think it's quite close to my base. Maybe I've got a friend. Hold on, let's just jump off my um little creature. Let's see what's going on over there, shall we? Okay. 
It looks like someone is building a base as we speak, people. There's a sheep, ship flying over. There's Daniel Hipley. Daniel Hipley's here. And this is Gulen Outpost. I don't know who that is. Oh, this is getting exciting. We're getting neighbours. Neighbours. Everybody likes good neighbours. Oh, just a little understanding. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that shite, isn't it? Oh, would you look at that? Daniel Hipley, I think, is flying over me right now in a little baller ship thing. Hello, Daniel Hipley. Where's he off to? Oh, he's off. I don't know where he's going to. Yeah, I've walked freaking miles, I know. Story of my life. Come on. Could he give me a lift, couldn't he? No, can't do that. Right, anyway, we need flying freaking mounts. That's what we need. I might have to have a word with Cynical and Ricey to see if maybe before we go treasure hunting, which was the idea to find relic sites, because this planet is so blinking big, I think a, a rideable flying mount is a must, really. Yeah, I'm thinking we can get beetles quite easily, but it would be nice if we could maybe get Miyogi to come in or something. And drop us in each a pet of our asking. Yeah, I'll probably go for a flying dragon or a griffin. Yeah, I think maybe a griffin or a, or a dragon. I don't know. I can't decide between the two. Yeah, yeah I might have to do that. I might have to ask Miyogi to jump on by and uh, see if he can gift us a flying creature. And I suppose, you know, Cynical and Ricey can do the same. They can make their own sort of request acquisition from the good old Miyogi of the pet given variety yeah that, that could be a thing right anyway i'm going to pick up this as well get some more oxygen i haven't long just topped up my hazard protection oh, okay that had a little bit of a weird blue glow about it i thought i was going to get lucky then and just find myself a freaking plaque by sheer chance but nope okay chums i've come across some copper so i'm going to terrain manipulate this out of the ground anyway because i wouldn't mind making those hazmat gauntlets you know Everybody in the medieval times rocked a pair of gauntlets, so yeah, I want those, I guess. Just in case we do have a mission at some stage to go and collect some, I don't know, sack venom from this planet. Because it is here. There is sack venom here. There's also, like, um, Albion pearls, but, you know, they're not like three-star. They're a two-star type good. But yeah, at least if we do get given a mission to go and get a load of sack venom, then uh, at least I've got the hazmat gauntlets already. And I haven't wasted a full episode, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't think I have, to be honest. I've got myself an awesome module. I've got a shield module, so that's been great. Oh, great. I'm going to recharge this now. Yeah, i use a bit of that. Cool, even though, you know, that sort of stuff's good for making stone walls. Oh, chums, we've got somebody here. Oh, it's Daniel Hipley. Hello there, Daniel Hipley. Kaboom. Oh, he's looking very medieval. Very cool, Mr. Hipley. Yeah, come here. We've come across another intrepid traveller on our journeys, people. This is freaking awesome. Well, hello there, Mr. Hipley. I don't suppose you've got something you can give me, have you, sir? Um, let's, have, let's, let's signal that I... Yeah. Anything? You got any cool flying pets, my friend? Any more? Any, any cool pets? Yeah, I could do with a cool pet. Oh, ho, ho! Yeah, cool. He gave me he gave me an egg. I was after one. Okay, I wonder what it is. Okay, it's still developing. I've got five hours on it. Brilliant. I have no idea what it is. I can't wait to find out. Okay. Um, I I should say thank you. Really. Um. Yeah. Um. Da, da, da. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel Hipley. Five hours on the egg. So there we go. We we'll, we'll see. Hopefully that's a flying pet. If it is, I'm going to be super freaking happy. Nice one. I didn't message Daniel Hipley. Nothing of the sort has taken place. This was just a sheer random encounter. Honest, I promise. Honest. 100%. Legit stuff. I haven't cheated. Okay. Okay, chums. I, I must tell you, it actually feels good arriving back at my base. Now, I've been having a couple of thoughts, people, inside the Viewerverse. Now, inside the trailer of Light No Fire, at their base, they've got like a little blue bowl that lights up. Like a sort of like a teleport. It almost looks like a teleporter. 
Although I'm wondering if there's going to be a magical way to teleport yourself back to maybe a major city or something like that, just to buy supplies or to buy weapons and things like that. Now I'm wondering whether we should be allowed to install a teleporter at our base, to teleport back to the station, either to, you know, use the appearance modifier, but not only that, so we can buy cartography maps. We've still got to earn the units to buy said cartography maps or the nanites, which I've just gone and spent all of mine. So that's going to be a fun ask, trying to get the nanites I need to get the cartography maps. So I'm going to have to have a word with um, Professor Sinecorn Ricey to see if they feel that that should be an OK thing to have. And of course, the only type of fuel reactor that we can use is a biofuel reactor like this one that I've got underneath there to power my treasure chest, which is over here, which is a big storage container of things that I found in the verse. I've got nothing that I want to squirrel away there at the moment. Nothing of value, nothing of treasury goodness. No. But anyways, let's see if anyone's put anything into my little mini portable treasure chests to put into my bigger chest. I doubt anything's happened while we've been away, people. And I haven't made people even aware of this sort of mechanic yet, so it's probably not a thing. Oh, OK, I can't interact with this last one over here for some reason. That's a bit weird, isn't it? OK, fun times. OK, well, there we are, people. That's pretty much everything I've got this episode. Where's my ship? I'm just going to jump in and out of it to make a save. And I'll go and hit on up Professor Cynical and um, others and see what they say. But it does look like I've got my first neighbour over there. Heck yes, I can see him. There he is, standing right there, 944 U's away from me. My first neighbour has arrived, Kated, and I don't know who they are. To be honest, it's not a name that I recognise. This has only gone out to my super members. So it must be somebody I know. Interesting. Then again, Daniel Hipley isn't one of my super members, I don't believe, anyway. All right, anyhow, let's um, let's just make sure I'm definitely saved in and out of the ship. Chicka pow! And there we go, peeps. Right, so in five hours' time, I get to hatch that egg. I've also got that little mini outpost that we managed to find using that pylon, a minor settlement. I don't think there's going to be much at that minor settlement. I mean, yeah, I could probably afford or maybe purchase a Kate a new multi-tool there that might have a weapons module in it. But at the end of the day, they are the weapons that we use inside of this. So they could be the weapons that, you know, equivalent of and, you know, Weaponsmith is a minor settlement, I guess, isn't it? So maybe I might be allowed to buy something from there. Just have to pass that by Ricey and um, Cynical to find out. Anyway, next episode should be an interesting one. We've got a neighbour. I'll be putting out the portal code if I haven't already. It might have been a trailer to this video. But if not, just keep checking my channel. Because the portal code is coming extremely soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.